Hello, it's Fabian with you once again, and I'll be taking you through another video tutorial relating to products for the ATCC Chinese two-stroke motorized bicycle engine. Well, you can see before you're a bunch of cylinder heads, some billet, some standard items. The billet items are the CR Machine Manufacturing Cylinder Head Range. One that you can't see in the video is the 7.2cc lower compression version that is on my bike but I'll take you through the other ones now. We have the 5.3cc combustion chamber, the 6cc combustion chamber, the 3-hole variant and the 2-hole variant. The 2-hole variant is used for a dual ignition. The 3-hole variant is used for dual ignition with a compression release. I've just simply put a third spark plug in there to drop the compression even further and ironically it is the lowest compression cylinder head and yet it gave me the most power out of all of the combinations I've tried. So the three hole variant, I'll need my torch, there, the two hole variant, the 6cc variant, the 5.3cc variant. Okay. Now, the other billet cylinder head is the rock solid engines high compression cylinder head. This particular cylinder head here is stupendously high as far as compression ratio goes. I mean, there's hardly any dish. It's a toroidal type combustion chamber. I haven't had any success at all with this particular cylinder head. It doesn't have a lot of surface area for cooling, and that was the biggest issue that I found. It just simply overheated chronically, and then the engine just started to ping, detonate. Um, it wasn't a particularly good cylinder head at all. Okay, Interestingly, these three cylinder heads here, standard cylinder heads. This particular version, I only found it on one engine. It is a high compression cylinder head straight plug hole and it is very very similar in the combustion chamber shape to the rock solid engines high compression version almost identical quite amazing even the squish area although poorly machined it is very similar to the rock solid engine cylinder head this version here is the angled plug version Again, it is a relatively high compression cylinder head, but that's partly because the angled plug cylinder head is used to fit into tight spaces with space restricted frames. By its design, it will automatically be a high compression cylinder head. And this is the a low compression version, the standard type cylinder head that you will find on pretty much any two-stroke motorized bicycle engine. Quite a deep dish in it, lots of volume, low compression. Um, but having said that, the three-hole variant of the CR machine manufacturing built cylinder head has less volume is higher compression than the standard low compression cylinder head. That pretty much takes you through the cylinder heads that are available. I found great success with the CR Machine Manufacturing Billet Cylinder Head because of its incredibly large surface area. Now the two versions are the three hole version which is a slightly different design compared to the two hole version. Both the two hole and the three hole have large fins on them and they are completely round. The other versions, the single hole versions, have much thinner fins on them. They appear to have more surface area. They're flat on one side. same thing. 
I found this particular version, well, not this particular CC version, but this design gives the lowest cylinder head temperatures. It is extremely efficient at extracting heat. I have found no other cylinder head that extracts as much heat as a CR machine manufacturing build at cylinder head. I mean, they are incredibly tall. When you compare the rock solid engines version of a built cylinder head and the CR machine manufacturing version, it is just, it's a complete joke. I mean, the uh, CR machine manufacturing built cylinder head is just incredible at extracting heat from its surface area. It's just a very, very good cylinder head. Okay. Now the other issue that I've had um, that manufacturers haven't taken into account is that some people will want to put a cylinder head temperature sensor on the cylinder head. In this type of design, which is just simply relieved for a spark plug, you cannot get a cylinder head temperature sensor in there. It just simply won't fit. When the spark plug goes in, it just won't fit. So in both cases, with the CR machine manufacturing built cylinder head, I went to a tool maker and got this part of the fitting machined out so that a cylinder head temperature sensor will fit in there. And the same thing on the rock solid engines billet cylinder head is I just simply took a carbide burr and I relieved this outer section here. So that a cylinder head temperature sensor could fit in there. So that basically covers the cylinder heads that are available. There are a couple other designs out there. Um, I haven't bothered to test the other designs because the CR machine manufacturing built cylinder head is just heads and shoulders above anything else out there for cooling surface area. Uh, and at the end of the day, if you're doing low speed heavy haul, there's not much airflow going over the cylinder head. You need as much cooling surface area as you can possibly get. And there's just nothing out there like the CR machine manufacturing built cylinder head. It's, it is just heads and shoulders above everything else out there. Okay, that concludes the video tutorial. Thank you.